White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Folk from the village come here often? Oh, when help they need, the Pella they seek. Help with what? With the dead that come a-haunting. Peace must be made. But they must then wait for Forefather's Eve. Or when an evil spirit runs wild in a homestead. Drive the spirit off the Pella can. And if I needed, say, a love potion? Then to the witch you would be sent. Not a matter for the Pella, that. So long. At last, will ye forgive me? Already have. Winds howling. Lightning strike. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! You! You! 
where do I know you from, eh? Ah, right, the Witcher! Come, drink with me! Pale as a ghost you are. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Damn it! They ran from you, didn't they? Lying trick! Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened, the truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important, or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. 
I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. Garrity? It'll bite us in the arse before we know it! Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell! What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubber game. Oh, fuck.
What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Chosen the name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's... it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? is my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea.
Lead me to those bound to you by blood. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. to show me something more. do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Shoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse?
Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? In the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That's her came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir. You don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one. Lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth. And we sets off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine, what happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, and then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. For the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. But my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I'd a debt. Owed Miss Tamara. 
three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamar alerted it, brought food and salves. We're poor than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, Tamara alerted it. Me. Married a wise woman. Crying shame. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace.
Come on, Roach. Start off before I lose me patience. Crawl back under your rock. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitak sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. To send you? Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? 
said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a Witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The eternal fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell.
ask a service of the Witcher, the Pella must. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Why hold the ritual at all? At times men die choking with regret. At times death takes them before they've tasted any bitterness in life. These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living, must be judged, sent on their way. This we do on Forefather's Eve. What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free, this the Pella knows. Not to fear, how to reward one for their aid, this too the Pella knows. Seems like you could use a Witcher, so yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse, the Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey, to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zerikania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taking them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe, 
When will she come home? And that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I've prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. I sent away for new pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? She's not coming back, period. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to return to a home like this either. Ah, horse bugger, you blind. I know what you think already. You've no need to repeat it. I've not been a good father, I know, but... Perhaps it's not too late. Can always try. Wouldn't count on succeeding, though. I've nothing to lose. Very well. You were to find them both. What have Anna learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where they teach you that, anyway? At Kerr Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she-witcher. Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witchers there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself, I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. Want that horse, don't you? Had one just like it.
You're wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. Is that for enticement? Let's lay him down.
You're not complete shite, but you really should work on your technique. Stop by again sometime, we'll play another round. Well, bring out the gimp. You say we hit the high road, set out in search of fortune. Better than sitting around crashing our horses. Barren schmarren. Oh, Fancy an outing to find that she beat. Got eyes like a cat. What did I do to deserve your company? Be back. Give us a rest. Give us a rest. Man, his own fate decides. Greetings. Just in time. Good folk, behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help, some will be. From these, you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. What is this life? Well, you know, 
What comes next once life subsides? Mine is all fate decides. Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Each will say by what they are hurried. Will ye grant these souls reprieve? Storm we'll prepare to end their grief. Let's begin for Father's Eve. Ye who wander on the gale, ever causing the world's fall, see this sign, gentle pain. Ye we summon, ye we call. Ye we summon, ye we call. Hark, a sound I hear. That's right, right Master Nervy. Sound I hear. Tis right. A spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak. This time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes. Should I drive him away? No. <laughs> I've come for you, Patricide. Be gone, foul force. I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire. Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy. Help me. Leave now. You're disrupting the ritual. This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take it and disperse the others. Woe away. Blood has stained the hallowed ground. Yet we cannot stop what has begun. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. All is quiet, all is Something whispers, something peeps. Someone near our fire creeps. All is quiet, all is blue. Wraiths! This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves. If your lives you value, run. lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual, that spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back, likely to keep his word. Old man Ambrose, the Pella fears not. That wraith called you a patricide. He get it right? Aye. If I'm gonna help you, I gotta know everything. Why'd you kill your father? The Pella does not wish to speak of this. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid, that's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. Listen, 
I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambros lies in the swamp. Fine. I'll find his body, see what I can do. Stench. kept Ambrose's body in good shape. Hmm. Even where the Peller smashed his head in. Gotta incinerate it. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Leave the world of the living. 
never return again. are coming out of there. Best blow it up. Run, Roach. Kill him! He 
can't take this. Oh, shut up. Witcher, find the key! Release me! You won't regret it! I've no gold. I, I've not, in fact, but you ever cut the clay witch? I'll have a bloody barmy reward for you. You watch, wait and see. Well, I, I've no gold. I, I've not, in fact, but you ever cut the clay witch? I'll have a bloody barmy reward for you. You watch, wait and see.
or just peruse him. Show me what you've got on offer. Mind a few rounds of cards.
chase him off. White wolf, wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Found your father's body. Had to burn it. Good you did. Return for me, ye would have. What's your story? You actually kill your father? It was an evil man. The Pella feared him once, but then grew brave. What his father did to his mother, the Pella could not look upon. So he split the father's head with an axe, left him in the swamp. But folk knew. Ghost's not likely to come back. Thank you, Witcher. A reward for your aid. And if herbs or remedies you ever need, for near nothing you will have them from me. The silver merchants were crow's perch. Cost me a cock. Ooh. It matter where the crooks were. Yeah. Got this diagram. Think you can forge the weapon? So long. Yeah? I'll 
take a look. Maybe pick something. So long. Seek trouble? Don't. It'll find you. 